Good morning, YouTube. We're about to get our next supercar for the dealership NG Supercars. And this one's gonna be interesting because it needs some work. So are you recording all of the nefarious activities? If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan and we are at the Howard. Well, that's our car and that's our car and that one was our car and this one's for sale through our dealership. So we have quite a few cars that are for the dealership and you know, of course we've sold a few cars now. And we just got the McLaren, which you guys hopefully saw in the other video, and now we're getting our next car. It should be here any minute now, so we're just waiting for the truck to get here. And as soon as it gets here, of course, we'll go look it over and see what all is wrong with it. We know it needs some work. So this one we bought, knowing it needs some work, so it's gonna, of course, be in some DIY videos, which I know you guys like. So you're gonna wanna like, share, and subscribe because that will keep you into our content as we produce it. And of course, you can support us by going to normalguyssupercar.com. There you can buy parts and services for your car, and if one of these cars that we have is interesting to you and you'd like to buy it, you can go check out ngsupercars.com or email us sales at ngsupercars.com and maybe we can make a deal. So hopefully this thing will get here really soon because I'm excited to see this one. Very excited to tune of like V12 excited. Ta-da, here we go YouTube. We have a V12 Ferrari 575. It is a 2005 and there goes our McLaren with a possible new owner. <laughs> Actually, it's my buddy, Travis. Yes, we have a glorious 575 and, well, unfortunately it needs some work. So of course, that's the catch. It does need a timing belt service. So we're gonna be taking off the timing belts and replacing those. And then supposedly there's something wrong with the heater core. So we're not sure, we're gonna see if that's broken or not. We're not sure what's going on with that. So we'll take a look at it. Obviously it needs to get a bath. It is covered in pollen. Visually, the car looks pretty good. There's very little, chips and stuff on the car i don't think it's been driven real hard there are some scratches on the underneath of the car otherwise it's in pretty decent shape all the wheels look okay that does need new tires they're from like 2012 so those are bad yeah that's not good uh what else we got on the outside of the car yeah tiny bit of curb rash right there nope just dirt never mind i lied so what else we got what else we got yeah back here pretty solid let's see yeah that's just dirt yeah, I had the trunk open. I'll pop that open in a second. Here we go. Yeah, interior is Cuyo. So as the dark tan, it is not the light tan. And I think that looks so much better. Unfortunately, we don't have any luggage. Sad, I know. Here, let's pop the trunk as long as we're on the outside of the car. And you'll see, we actually have the spare. Holy crap, we have a spare tire. And we have the jack kit. I don't see the tool kit, but we have a jack kit. So that's good. It's actually in there. Of course, the spare does have some tire rash. I'm not sure how that happens on the inside of the car, but it did. And yes, this is the F1, sadly, but we're actually thinking we might convert it, believe it or not. See right here, we just got to push this, get this back in place. It's obviously popped out right here. The trim is not set correctly. You know, that's simple stuff. Um, another thing we noticed <laughs> in here is that this panel is loose. Yeah, that's going to be fixed. Um, but the headliner, yeah, actually headliner's in great shape. Center console's in pretty good shape. The rear deck is in pretty good shape. Just needs to be vacuumed up. Even the cigarette lighter is there. Sticky buttons, no, no sticky buttons. Wow, actually for once, no sticky buttons. It's pretty, pretty good. Yeah, these are all nice, no sticky buttons. Oh my God. Oh, there's um, some manuals and stuff, so that's good. Oh, you can see uh, seat bolsters are in good shape. It has 30... 31 or 32,000 miles. I can't remember exactly how many. Here, let's put in the keys and we'll take a look. 30, oh, 34,000. I lied to you, sorry. 34,000 miles. Oh yeah, baby. We got V12, heck yes. So excited about that. Yes, we have the big V12. So here's the cool thing about doing the timing belts on this is that basically you just take off the radiator and stuff and get access right there. Super easy, you don't have to worry about dumb crap about you know pulling the engine or any of that sort of stuff i mean it still sucks you gotta remove a bunch of stuff but that is a whole heck of a lot easier to get access to that so and actually you can see it's pretty reasonable access even on the sides and everything so it's not a big car at all it's kind of interesting because you'd think oh it's a v12 it's gonna be a big massive beast and it's just not it's just a kind of small car i am really excited about this car so i think we need to take it out for a drive all right youtube we're in the 575. Oh yeah, that's right. You gotta do the stupid uh, immobilizer on these cars. There we go. Yes. 
Yes, we still got the fry horn. Still works. That was very important. That is so quiet. Yeah, it's the most boring V12 you've ever seen. But it's a grand touring car. Yeah, it's got a suspension fault, of course. They all do. Ooh, let's put in sport mode. This is basically the 360 equivalent in era. definitely got a Grand Tour feel to it. It's a little bit squishy, you know? The steering is nowhere near as precise as the 360. And like the Ferrari V12s, it has very little power until you really get it up into the RPM. So you gotta wait for the oil to get up a little bit in temperature and then we'll let we'll, we'll it play. It's very comfortable. This is a very classy car. Transmission's working great. Shifts are awesome. I think maybe there's a burnt out light bulb because they're getting the fast blink. Ooh, get some pops on the downshift. All right, ready? Something's, yeah. Yeah, there's something up here. Well, we're gonna have to do some work on this car. It's stuttering and it won't go hardly past 5,000 RPM. Something's wrong. I'm not getting any check engine lights, but yeah, like I said, this thing is a work in progress. This is not its final form. We're gonna have to do some work on it. I don't even really wanna be too hard on the car, honestly. <laughs> I feel like with the uh, timing belts as old as they are, yeah, we don't want to really go too high in the RPMs anyway. I mean, the good news is the transmission's in great shape. I think from what we remember, we'll have to read a clutch uh, readout. I want to say it was like pretty recent clutch. Yeah, something's not right. We'll have to see what's up with that. All right, well, looks like we got our workout cut out for us. I mean, the good news is the steering feels tight. You know, for a 2005 car, and the ride is super nice. There's definitely some wonky thing going on. I'll talk to Josh, see what's up with that, see if he knows what would cause that. Uh, hopefully we didn't butt off before we can chew. Yeah, brakes feel good, steering feels tight. Everything else feels good. We just got to figure out what's up with the engine. Once we get that solved, and then well, maybe we'll convert it. I think we need to probably convert it. I mean, don't you think that'd be pretty fun? All right, YouTube. Well, as you could see and hear me talking about it, uh, there's definitely some work on this car. It's going to need some work. We're going to get Josh over here to take a look at, run the computer, see if there's anything obvious. Hopefully it's nothing big. Hopefully it's nothing catastrophic. It doesn't seem like it's anything catastrophic. It seems like it's just, it's almost like the computers are restricting the, you know, the engine or something. So since we're already doing a cam belt service, we'll get in there and see what's up. See if we can't fix that. There you have it. 575 V12 Ferrari, 2005 with 34,000 miles and probably gonna get a conversion. Definitely gonna get a major, gonna get cleaned up. And if one of you wants to make an offer on this car as is, we'll take 110. If you want it as is, okay, there you go. That's our like stupid low ball offer number. If you want 110, it's yours. Otherwise we're gonna do a bunch of stuff to it, okay? Sound good? Good. We've got cool stuff coming your way, so you should like, share, and subscribe because then you get to see your content more, and that helps us out, so we do appreciate that. Thank you so much. Also, go visit our website, normalguysupercar.com. There you can buy parts and services, and go check out ngsupercars.com. There you can find out more about our inventory. If you want any of these cars, just email us, sales at ngsupercars.com, and we'll respond to you, and uh, we can work out a deal. Thank you guys so much for watching. We do appreciate it, and we're gonna be doing a lot more cool car stuff, so you're gonna wanna stay tuned. It's gonna be sweet.